Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day, or good afternoon, or good evening, or wherever this finds you. Uh, I'm glad to be with you today. You know, in my time as a pastor, uh, one of the questions that I get quite a bit is, is about prayer. And questions like, Robert, how am I supposed to pray? What is it supposed to sound like? How eloquent? Where do I come up with those words? Because sometimes we hear people of faith, people that, that are, are role models and examples for me, whether they're just a, a, a great follower of Jesus in your family or someone that you met at church or even listening to sometimes us as pastors and you go, man, uh, my prayers don't sound like that. What are they supposed to sound like? And I want to just drive you to the fact that our prayer life with God is to be authentic. It's to be real and open and honest with, with what we're feeling and what we're going through. In this uh, first part of 2023, as we look at the book of Psalms, we're going to see that quite a bit. That the, the heart of, of David, especially as he writes the majority of these Psalms, comes out in a real and authentic way in the form of prayer. And as we look at Psalm chapter 6 today, I want to show you just what that looks like. Starting verse 2, it says, Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. My soul is also greatly troubled, but you, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, deliver my life. Save me for the sake of your steadfast love. In death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who will give you praise? He says this in verse 6, I'm weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with weeping. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows weak because of all my foes. That's pretty raw. It's pretty real. It's, it's pretty transparent with how he's feeling. Now, David is very eloquent, very poetic. He contributed to the poetry that exists here in the book of Psalms. But I want you to not get caught up in the, the poetry of it and just catch the emotions and rawness of this. That God doesn't need you to come to him in prayer with some perfectly scripted and, and pretty sounding prayer. He just wants you and your thoughts. He wants you and your struggles, in your tensions, in your frustrations, in your desires and hopes and dreams to just express those to him. To just lay it all out and say, here I am. And I want you to hear how this ends in verse 9. David says, The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. God hears you. He hears all of our prayers. He uh, receives those and accepts them, whether they're poetic and beautiful, whether they're full of praise or full of complaints and expressions of grief and frustration. The Lord hears your prayer. So today, cry out to Him. With whatever's on your mind, whatever's in your heart, whatever you're feeling and working through, express that authentically to God because He wants to hear from you in exactly where you're at, not in some scripted and perfect sounding version of who you ought to be, but who you actually are and where you actually are in life. So I hope that encourages you. hope that helps frame a little bit of what our prayer life should be. And I hope that you have a prayerful day connecting with God. We'll see you next time.